everybody, welcome to another episode here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's routine is developed for the pear shaped body type. So if you tend to hold your weight a little bit more in the lower half of your body, this may be the perfect workout for you. The good news is no matter what your shape, this is still a really great well-rounded workout. So what we wanna do for a pear shape is try to balance out a heavier lower half with a really strong and shapely upper half too. So we're gonna be sculpting the upper body. We're still gonna be working the lower body so we develop more metabolically active lean muscle mass to help shed some of that excess body fat. And of course, we're gonna keep your heart rate up for a nice cardio effect so that you're burning calories to also help you reduce your overall body fat. So if you're ready, hopefully you've been moving with me this whole time. Make sure that you do have a set of dumbbells handy. I am working with eight pounds today but you're gonna find what works best for you. So let's make this really big. Start to use your arms a little bit. We really wanna start warming up here. Good, pull those elbows back and forth. Nice, good. Now let's keep this side to side, but we're gonna take two steps side to side. So it's just two side steps. Really starting to travel it, nice and quick, good. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Let's walk it out, hold it, good. So right from here, you can hold this power walk or you can just start to give me a gentle little jog. So not too much impact, keep it light on your feet. Just breathe, good, that's it. Nice, now I just want you to start to alternate punching one arm forward, jog or walk. That's it, four, three, two, and one. Walk and hold it, bring it back, good. All right guys, let's get that upper body going just a little bit more. Reach both arms up, pull it down, that's it. Nice, now we're just gonna alternate, pushing one heel forward into the pull. So you're flexing your foot, tapping one heel at a time in front of the body. Pull down your back, that's it. Up, pull, good. Now let's start to make that a knee pull, bending the knee up to your chest, really squeezing down the back, keeping the abs in strong. Good, couple more here. Nice, two more. Now nice and controlled, give me a little kick front. And I want you to think of coming in and out of that bent knee position. Don't worry about kicking high. I want you to think knee heel. Keep alternating that leg. You still got that little lean back. Those abs kick in as you lean back. Good. Four more right here. It's four, three, two, and one, nice job. Let's just walk it out, catch your breath. Let's go ahead and grab one of those moderately weighted dumbbells. So we're gonna start off working the upper and lower half together. We're gonna begin with a lateral lunge to the left and go into a twisting shoulder press. Break it down with me slow. We come down, up. Now push up across to the corner, back to the center. So you lunge out to the side. Curl the weight in, push it up on a diagonal. Keep that lower body facing front on the twist. Squeeze, exhale, and inhale, that's it. Take it down, curl, twist. You got it, do it again. Outside leg bends. You're gonna reach that dumbbell to the floor, holding it either end, that's it. Down, curl, press and rotate. Give me two more at this tempo. Down, up, curl, last one. Great job. Take it down, up, and press. Good, now I just want you to step out into that lateral lunge. We're just gonna come down, curl up, down, curl. So I'm just bending the knee. It's a little bit quicker, keeping the curl. Good, now you can hang with this or add just a little bit of a jump off that outside leg. Still keep the reach, keep the curl. Make sure your hips are way behind you. Down and up, down 
Up, that's it. Good. Let's do four more. Last two. You got it. One more time. Hold it. Bring your feet together. Now we're just going to go up into the twist. Nice and quick. We come up. Come back to the center. Up. Center. So it's just a little rotation. Pressing that weight slightly in front of the head. You're turning to your right. That's it. Exhale and inhale. Power it up. Good. Eight more right here. It's eight. Seven, six, five, you got it. Four more, three more, two, last one. Great job, guys. Just give me a side to side tap. So let's take a minute. We're gonna set all that up to the other side. So give yourself some room. Now we're gonna travel to our right. Feet together. Step out to your side lunge, down. Curl, bring your feet in. Reach up to the left. Do it again, big step. Squeeze your inner thighs, rotate and pull. Good, lots of control here. Get as low as you can, press and center, that's it. Down to the floor, curl and squeeze. Push it up, feel those abs at the top. Take it down, squeeze, press and in. Nice work, low. Curl, press, and in. Give me two more here. Take it down, squeeze it in, rotate. Here's our last one, let's do it. Take it down to the floor as low as you can. Squeeze those inner thighs, push it up. Beautiful, now take it out to your lunge and just give me the lunge and the curl. Let's down, curl, down, curl. Good, push those hips back. Nice, now remember you can hang here or start to just give me that little jump off the leg. Keep the back nice and flat here. Try not to slouch around. Good. So we feel the heart pumping up there. Get the heart rate up there. Getting a little calorie burn going. We're burning calories the entire time, but especially when we get that heart rate up. Four more. Three. Two, now we bring it all the way up, feet together, abs in tight. Let's do that nice quick rotation. Ready, take it up, up and in, up and in. So feel those abs, yes, good. Squeeze it back, that's it, lift, good. Power up and across, you got it, hang with me. Twist, turn the shoulders, keep those hips facing forward. Last two. Great job, good. Take a sec, let's go ahead and set that dumbbell down. So now we're gonna really focus on getting the heart rate up a little bit more. Just want you to start with an easy out, in with the feet. So it's really light, nothing too tough on the joints. Nice little bounce, good. Now just start to cross one leg in front of the other. You're gonna keep alternating, out, cross. Out, cross, good, that's it. Now let's take it into singles and let's add the arms. We're gonna go out and up. Just like your regular jack, but with that cross over. Use the inner thighs, good. Nice, eight, six, four, three, two, tap it side. Pull and hold. Good job. Just keep breathing. Give me that tap. Beautiful. Now, let's keep working that lower body. Sit back into your hips like a little squat here. We're just gonna take a little shuffle from side to side. Shuffle out and in. Good, down and up. That's it. Now, in the middle, give me a little reach up. Push, push, lift, good. Slam dunk, use those inner and outer thighs. Good, four, three, good. Two more down and back. One more set, here we go. Beautiful, just give me a hamstring curl. Recover your breath. 
We're moving on to our next strength set. So let's go ahead and get both of those dumbbells this time. So we're moving on. Grab both of your weights carefully. We're moving into a rear lunge and bent over row. I'm just gonna angle myself so you can see it a little better. You're gonna step back, pulse, two, three, up. Alternating the leg. Now notice I'm taking a little bow forward with my upper body as I pulse that lunge. Down, two, three, stand up. Now as I hinge, there's a difference between reaching forward and rounding forward, right? So keep your chest open. We're gonna add on here, take the row back with you on that lunge. So it's down, row, reach, and stand. Lunge, row, reach, stand it up. Keep alternating those legs, good. We're keeping this nice quick tempo here so that this is cardio sculpting. We're getting more calorie burn in less time but we still wanna make sure our form is strong. So feel free to slow down if you need to. Keep the pace as best you can with proper form. Most important part is the form. So both knees are bending about 90 degrees. You're keeping that hinge. You're really pulling those elbows back behind you. Good, now we only have one set of everything. That's why we're doing so many reps in a row. Good, how you feeling? You can hear my voice, I'm working hard too. Take it down, pull. We have eight more, come on, eight. Squeeze, flat back, seven, yes. Six, almost there, you got it. Five, four, good, three, yes, two more. Last one, here we go. Great job. Get rid of one of those dumbbells again for me. Good work, everybody. So let's go back to the arms, but keep working those legs. So stand with your feet together, hold that dumbbell right in the neck of it with both hands, arms overhead, chin to the chest. You're gonna come down one, two, three, pulse it up. One, two, three, extending that weight overhead. But notice it's a little diagonal. My elbows are into my head and I'm reaching them in towards the midline of my body, extending with my triceps. Now let's get the legs in action again. As the arms extend, you're gonna tap one foot out to the side. Just start with a toe tap, lift. Good, toe tap and extend. Pulse, two, three, extend and tap. Switch legs, extend and tap. Now if you want, make it a little harder with a brush. Elbows in, brush. Down, two, three, reach it. Good, how you feeling, yeah? So we got shoulders involved, backs of those arms, inner and outer thighs. Even the glutes, especially on that standing leg, are kicking in. Chin to your chest, relax your neck. Four more. Good, press. Three. Yes, two more. Last one, here it is. Great job. Let's go ahead and set that dumbbell down. Coming back to picking up your heart rate again. Just give me a little shuffle, side to side. We're gonna use that upper body. Just give me a little speed bag, fast as you can with your arms. So you're just making little circles from the elbow down. Good, take it as high as you can. Hold it. Yes, nice. Keep going. Four. Three, two, jog or march. Bring it in. Good, now we're gonna go back into that little pull down with the front knee that we did in the warm up. We started with the heel digs, then we went into the knee. Just give me the knee with the arms. Reach and pull. So we're going at a little faster tempo. Pull the knee up, lean it back. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze, good. Pull it back. If you wanna amp this, you can make it a little power move. 
I'm gonna stay with the knee thrust, but if you wanna power it up, go for it, but use that pelvis, press into it. Eight more, six, four, three, two, good, take it back to your shuffle. Speed bag, one more set, keep going. Quick circles, yes, nice. Stay with me, great job, let's do it. Eight, six, and four, three, two, good work. Just give me a tap, recover, and breathe. Moving on, we're gonna go back to both of your dumbbells. So go grab them carefully. We're moving on. We're gonna go back to the back side of your body with a little alternating deadlift. Start with your feet together, palms face in, shoulders are back and down, keep that chest wide, hinge forward with a straight spine, and come up. Now when we say straight spine, we're really talking about keeping your spine in its natural alignment, which actually has a little curve to it in your lower back. So sometimes it feels like you're really sticking out your rear end and your chest. That's your naturally straight spine. So feel those two spots kind of sticking out a bit. Hinging forward, coming up, down, and up. So I've got both knees slightly bent. And as I come up, I'm focusing on the back side of my body, bringing me up. Yeah, now you can hang with this, you know it. Or alternate one leg, coming back at a time. Down and up. Yes, so the most important part is that spinal alignment. So if lifting the back leg throws you out of it, don't bring it up yet. Take it down and squeeze, good. Down, squeeze, keep that standing knee soft. It's gonna help with your balance. Down, lift, and down, and lift, that's it. Hinge it forward, flat back up. Down, and lift, good, we have five more. Down, squeeze, four, flat back up, three. Good, give me two more right here. Excellent, last one. You did it, great job guys. Let's take a nice wide stance with the feet. Knees and toes are gonna turn out slightly. Just give me a plie squat. So your hips are gonna go back. Your knees and toes are opening wide. Good, now we're gonna start to use your chest. I want you to alternate, reaching one arm straight out in front as your legs extend. Palm faces the floor, hits down, press. Down, press. Good. Use that chest, down, push it up. That's it. Good. Nice, sit back into it, press it forward. Keep the spine nice and long. Keep working that upper and lower body together. Good, and down, lift. Excellent, guys. Sit back, open the knees. Don't throw that way, I wanna see you press it forward. Use the chest, use the front of the shoulders. Eight more alternating, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're finishing up here. Just pulse and hold it. Now turn your knees and toes forward. Sit back into your hips. Just reach the weights slightly in front of you. Yeah, now we're gonna step the right foot into the left. Narrow squat, step out wide. Good, bring your left foot into your right. Narrow squat. Keep the back long, wide step. Let's take it a little bit quicker. Give me two in, two out. Two in, two out. Flat back, this is working our core to maintain that nice posture in the upper half. Stay low, yeah, good. Squeeze it, single it out, here we go. It's in, out, in, out, stay low. Flat back, protect the spine, engage your abs. Pulse, good, nice. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Take it apart, stand it up slow. Whew. Great job, guys, set those weights down for me. Excellent job. So we should be breathing a little bit heavy. We're gonna take it down just a notch, stretch you out, just recover, good. So keep on breathing, just curl the heel in, stretching the front of the thighs nice and dynamically here. Good. You guys did a great job with this pear-shaped workout. Let's hold it down. Bend your right knee, sit back in your hips. You should feel a stretch on the inner thigh of that left leg. Turn into your right leg. Keep your back leg straight. Press your heel to the floor. Let's take the hands behind the back. Open the chest, just stretch. Take a nice deep breath. Good. Take it back to the center. Switch sides. So now we're gonna bend that left leg, stretching the inner right thigh. Push your hips back. Turn into the left leg. Keep your back leg straight. Press that heel down. Reach both arms behind your body. Lift your chest. Just taking some nice deep breaths, slowing everything down. Good. Take it center. Just bring your feet a comfortable distance apart. Clasp your hands together. Round your chest, look down at the floor. Separate your shoulder blades. Push those hands as far away from your body as you can. Stretch across that upper back. Inhale, stretch to the ceiling. Take it out and over to one side. And out and over to the other. Great job, guys. Just release it, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me for this pear-shaped body type workout. Remember, follow my recommendations and try some of our related videos below for the perfect workout for your body type. Thanks for sweating with me, guys, and I'll see you at our next workout.